this is good. Looks great. Yeah. What did I say? Encapsulated to me. <laughs> I am Justice Paige Peterson. Nope, start again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Melinda Bowen, and I'm an attorney in Salt Lake at the law firm Snow Christensen and Martineau. And my name is John Wyeth. I am the Associate Director at the Utah Center for Legal Inclusion, or UCLE, and we are brother and sister. I am Paige Peterson, and I am a Justice on the Utah Supreme Court. I'm Zachary Scott Romer. I am an Investment Funds Attorney at Kirkland & Ellis LLP. My name is Nathaniel Player. I am the director of the Self-Help Center in the Law Library at the Utah State Courts. My name is Emily Zarate, and I am currently the administrative coordinator at UCLE, the Utah Center for Legal Inclusion. Being a first-generation lawyer means a lot of different things to me. Um, my mom found an old something from like sixth grade or fifth grade when I uh, wrote what I want to be when I grow up, and I said I want to be a lawyer. And then somewhere along the way, I must have learned that I couldn't be a lawyer. When I was in undergrad, I met somebody who thought that, who said they were going to law school, and I was like, wow, that person must be so much smarter than me. He's so smart. That's for smart people. Law school is for smart people. And going to law school, the thought of going to law school was really intimidating. It didn't occur to me that that was something that could happen for me. It means a lot because it means building on the legacies of the people who've come before us. We. Um, come from a family where our great-grandpa and our grandparents immigrated from the Philippines to Hawaii um, when my grandpa was a kid and my our grandma on the other side was a widow at a young age with little kids. All of our grandparents worked really hard to provide opportunities for our parents even though they didn't have the opportunities that we've had have worked so hard to give us the opportunities that we've both had and so it means a lot that we can take those opportunities and make something great of them. It gives me a lot of confidence to know that I'm the first in my family to be a lawyer because it means that I was able to chart my own path and I figured out how to do it along the way. I had mentors, I looked for mentors, I asked questions, and I did my own digging to get the answers that I needed and the information I needed to be successful. And it makes me feel really good that I was able to chart my own path. First generation lawyer means to me that I bet on myself to figure out how to do this. Yeah, as a first generation law student, I think a major challenge is that you just don't know the path and like what you're supposed to be doing. I remember having classmates that, you know, they've had two, three generations of lawyers in their family. So it, it seemed like, at least from my perspective, like a breeze. And I was kind of felt like I was stumbling along. So when I was younger, I was constantly in and out of court. Um, my dad was facing some pretty serious criminal charges. And every time I entered the courtroom, I felt so out of place. I noticed that it was because every single criminal um, looked like me. They were all darker complexion or spoke Spanish. And then one day we went back and I saw a, an attorney who looked like me and that was something that was extremely ex inspirational to me because I, I thought if she can do it, I can do it. I saw myself in her and so from that day on I promised myself that I would return to that courtroom but not as a criminal, I would return as an attorney or a judge. You wonder if you're going in the right direction. And so for me, I've, I have this belief that I can, if I find the right path for myself, I can do it. It's just a matter of finding ways to improve and just keep moving forward. So my advice would be based on something that I heard Justice Sotomayor say when she was here. Um, she said that she feels like she never completely belongs anywhere which I thought was fascinating coming from a Supreme Court justice. Um, and even though I'm not in her position, I related to that very strongly. Um, and I would say to those who are considering law school, you may not feel like you belong in certain places. You may feel like you're not sure how you fit in, um, but keep moving forward, expand your circles, bring people in. You will find people who want to help and who want to be part of your community and um, want to be part of your legal family, especially here in Utah. So please keep expanding those circles and bringing people in. 
focus on what your strengths are. Think about what you have that's strong and don't worry about why it's scary or why it's hard. People like us are told you're not supposed to go to law school. People like us are often told you don't fit in and that's just not true. So listen to what's strong, listen to what's true for you. To decide to do something that I didn't know anyone who was doing and to believe in myself and to find some success in that, that was really empowering. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Be vulnerable and know that the very worst case scenario is that you're wrong and you learn something from that. I was the first person in my family to go to law school. I was the first in my family to earn a law degree. I was the first in my family to go to law school. I was the first in my family to go to grad school. I was the first of my generation to graduate college and you can be the first of yours. We are here to help. Visit us at utahcli.org. Your presence in the legal field is more important than ever before.